Out of my way! Mrs. Kindly's health had greatly improved following her trip to Bournemouth. No longer confined to her bedroom, she waved to the engines every day from her garden. In the lead-up to Christmas, however, Percy saw less of her. She must be cold, not having a firebox. I hope she isn't ill again. He needed have worried, for one morning Mrs. Kindly stood happily on the platform. Oh, Percy, it's wonderful, she smiled. My family is coming from the mainland for Christmas. I get more excited every day. Some of my friends live there too, Percy replied. I haven't seen them recently, with how busy the branch line's been. I miss them dearly. I wonder how they're spending Christmas. Percy puffed unhappily away. Mrs. Kindly felt very sorry for him. Two days before Christmas, Percy was waiting at the junction when, with a roar, Bertie Bus skidded to a halt nearby. You shouldn't be racing in this weather, Percy scolded. This is urgent, wheezed Bertie. I was meant to collect Mrs. Kindly's family at Barrow, oh, but their train is stranded. Oh, the other railway has no engine to spare. Oh, it could be ages before they're rescued. We can't have that, Percy frowned. I'm sure one of the mainline engines can help. Percy tried all day, but his luck didn't match his optimism. Garden, could you? Can't stop, Titmouth bound. No time for branch line gossip, the big engine called as he sailed through. I say, James, are you bound for the other railway? My stopping train stops everywhere but there, the red engine huffed. Surely you're going to the other railway, Henry? I am, smiled the green engine. Tomorrow morning, that is, with the flying kipper. Cough, sniffed Percy. The Carnleys won't want to ride in your fish fans. Bother those big engines. I shunt their coaches for years, but they can't do me one small favour. I'd like to show them something. Perhaps you can. There was Mrs. Kindly and the fat controller. Percy, would you collect my family? Percy was so surprised he didn't know what to think. Oh, may I, sir? Certainly, Percy. Mrs. Kindly is a good friend of our railway. We mustn't allow her Christmas to be spoiled. Chorby will handle the goods and has offered to lend you Henrietta and Elsie. The signalmen know you're coming. Off you go. Percy didn't need telling twice. In no time at all, he was steaming down the main line. Beep beep! Off to town, off to town! He cheered. On the other railway, two tank engines sat stranded with a rake of coaches. Told them I wasn't suited for these distances, the first grumbled. Could be worse, soothed the smaller one. At least we can eat the coaches for the passengers. Help will come, you watch. A headlamp pierced through the darkness, accompanied by a boisterous whistle. Do you suppose that's our help, smiled the first engine. Percy wished to a halt, grinning broadly. All change for Kindly Cottage, he called in his best express engine voice. Paint me orange and call me Scrap. Is that you, Percy? Percy was speechless. The stranded engines were his friends, Jinty and Pug. Sandbox Claws must have caught the early train, Jinty chuckled. Shantra Claws, Pug corrected. What are you two doing out here? Percy gasped. It was all wheels on deck for the other railway, explained Pug. Every engine that can be working is working. We were drafted to pull this lot to Barrow, but someone went and broke down. Merry Christmas to me, 
Jinty groaned, rolling his eyes. Please help our passengers, pleaded Pug. Someone will come for us, uh, eventually. I'm not leaving you stranded, Percy snorted indignantly. You have steam, don't you, Pug? I say we get you to our works, then I'll take the passengers on. The two tank engines beamed. Their drivers agreed to the plan and the cavalcade was off into the night. Percy and Pug worked their hardest. Jinty could only will them on. That's it, boys. A pair of super saddle tanks you are. Lazy sods. What do you say? Nothing. At last, tired but triumphant, they reached the workstation. The Kylies cheered the engines to the echo, and as they boarded Henrietta, Percy helped Jinty and Pug to the shed. It's a cold, dark shed, Jinty observed. Better than the cold, dark night, Pug retorted. Just you be thankful Percy showed up. I am indeed, Jinty relented with a smile. Bless you, Percy. Now you get those people to their family. A Merry Christmas, Pug added. Merry Christmas to you both. Seeing you two is the best present an engine could have asked for. With a final jubilant whistle, Percy set off once more bound for the comforting sight of Mrs. Kindly's cottage. <laughs> <laughs>